Hey, it's Joe Lyons. And uh, someone was asking about fine text, how to um, not have it launch automatically, have it to be monitoring um, constantly for text on the page and wait for it to appear and then either click it or something. Um, so I thought I'd just demonstrate it here in a video. So first let's say, let's say I wanted to click um, this, this wording right here, the auto hotkey webinars. So let's, let's, so first I would use the tool to come in here and say, what am I going to click? So I'm looking for this. Um, I have other videos on how to use this tool, so um, check those out if you haven't seen them yet. Um, I'm going to say, just remind myself what this is, because you'll see here in a second. Um, what it turns into is this text string right here, which the webinars helps reminds me what it is I'm searching for. Um, and I can test it. I'm going to hit test. And here it's going to tell you now that um, I want to point this out. It took um, over a half a second to find it. Right, so um, the person who wrote me said he's doing this in a game, and a half a second in the game time is a lot of time. Um, it is reliable, having said that. So now when I hit OK, it's going to move to it. So there it goes, it moves to it. Okay, so that worked fine. Um, and all I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to borrow this. Oops, let's go back to here, and I put it into a while. So I'm going to replace this. And instead of look at the code that they give you in their tool, so it says if OK find text, then do this, right? Well, that if is just a one-time thing, right? And it happens when you run it. Now, if we just want to monitor for it, all I did was I dumped it into a while loop and I said, while well, it's not okay. So not okay me, not, you know, it sounds terrible, but um, well, this could be anything blah, right? It doesn't matter. Um, but until this is found, it's going to, it's just going to do the next line and it's going to sleep for um, 10 milliseconds. Uh, and then it's going to come back up and it's going to keep looping over this over and over and over until it finds it. And then it's going to finally get to here. So let's go ahead and, um, you know, I'll go ahead for the purposes of this, even though I can't reload it. Um, I'm going to launch it and actually should find it. What? Oh, I have some code down here that I didn't want to share right now, but that's all right. It was supposed to have disappeared. I'm going to demonstrate that in a minute. So now it's, is it running? I think it's running. Let me look at my system tray. Find text example loop. Yep. So I don't know why it hasn't found it yet. Sleep text. Hmm. That should have found it, you know, in about a half a second. Um, you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna put these back in here just because they they help me reload the script. I'm gonna run it. Come on, find it. Oh, oh, I know why. Okay, and um, actually, you'll see here in a second um what that other part was for. But let me bring back this from the original tool. So this is my almost my entire desktop. Really, it should be like zero zero to 15 what is that million i don't know um great now we're missing yeah 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 i think i need to add one more print here yeah there we go all right i just saw it reload launch it Okay, found it. Great, but again, this would this would just happen once, um, and this wouldn't necessarily be on the screen. And what we want to do is to have this not on the screen, have the script running, and then find it. So, um, so that works. But let me, so let me, um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back a page. I'm gonna reload my script. I'm gonna run it. And so right now it's running. So it's running right now, and it's looking for it, looking for it, looking for it. It's gonna keep on looking for it. And then when I finally get to the page. When it comes up, wow, it's taking a while. There it goes. It found it. Now, as my point, right, that was like a second and a half, two seconds. Um, again, for gameplay, that that is not ideal, right? Um, having said that, this, I have three large monitors, and it's searching everywhere for it. So if you can control into where you're looking for it, um, it will drastically increase the speed of what you're doing. So that's what, um, that's what this latter part is for. This control M that I wrote, actually, I can close this now because we don't need it anymore. Um, the control M 
Well, um, it shows me the coordinates of where the mouse is. So let's say if I knew, you know, like this, well, it's going to be somewhere I could say on the screen or maybe at the top area, right? Or maybe it's in, in this general area. So I can say, um, let's see, all right, what's my escape? So I'm going to come here and hit escape. And that just copied that to the clipboard, um, the X, Y coordinates. And so I actually put a comma in between them so I can come in here and paste it. So that's um, 153333. So really on that one, I would just say zero, zero, because it's not that big of a gain. Um, and then let's put it right here and I'm gonna hit escape again. And let's replace this. So that was why it wasn't finding it the first time because I actually did my testing on the other screen, not this screen. Anyway, um, so now let me go back to my home page. I'm going to relaunch my script. So it's running right now. Now when I load this, that sure was not faster. What happened? Is it running? I actually had, for some reason I had two, you know, I'm going to, oh, it's because my darn hotkey, I forgot to hit it. Okay. So it's running. Now it's actually looping. I should have put a, you know what? I should have put a tool tip. Let's do that. Let's do that. Let's, it'll slow it down a little, but it'll help make sure that you get the point. Tool tip. There we go. So now, come on. Why? Oh, because it's no. Is it running? Let me see where what line we're on. So this is how you troubleshoot, right? So it's doing the sleeps. Maybe I did something wrong with the tooltip. Maybe I need to have those. Um, Oh, because I used, yeah, actually, maybe that's that's the way I need it. Because I'm so used to adding, doing things in a variable. Here we go. So now it's searching for the image, right? And so now I know it's running. Um, now when I click this, wow, did it get moved? It's still searching for it. How did that not find it by now? You know, let me look at these coordinates again. So control M. Yeah, so zero, zero should probably be right up here. And then let's say 500, 500 should be, well, now let's say it's 400, 600. Yeah, 400, 600 should be fine. Oh, look at that. Although I don't think that would matter. 400. And I had 595, but we'll change it to 6. 20. Let's see if this works. Oh, found it. Let's see how, see how fast that was. Um, so let me, so it was just, I just had the wrong range, I think. Um, so now it's searching. Now, when I click this, when that appears, see, it finds it. And that probably took about a half a second. I could put some tool tips in here to say the, the time we started searching and how long it took to find it. But um, you get the idea. It, the more you shrink this space down at searching, the faster it's going to be at finding it. And and if you, unless you plan to be moving your game or whatever onto different monitors, or, you know, if you're doing something and it's, you're trying to do a, um, look for bullets coming at you and dodge them it, this, I don't think this is a tool for you, right? Cause it, it, it'd probably take up the full screen. I don't think this would be fast enough, but if you're just looking for, to see when on your toolbar, something pops up and you need to click it, then this should be great. So I hope that helps. Thanks.